yeah, let's uh, let's continue. And if you're watching again later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying the second half of uh, this. I'm gonna get a pony because we're kind of far away from where I was before. In the interest of getting a, a memory. It would have been funny if I got to this memory, but like, you know, it didn't appear for some reason, but confirm he was technically correct. <laughs> it's just to, to ruin the track record a bit further. What are you doing, opponent? Up. But it's okay. Alright, watch this. You're just glad you weren't entirely incorrect this time. Nah, that's good. Already knocked out. Okay, now let's head back. There's, there's plenty to do. And as long as the Koroks aren't obscure like the last ones I had to do, should be okay. I still can't get over how terrible that one on the bridge was. Admittedly, I, I chose a, a terrible path to come down, but it's just there's guardians. Like, there's one just to the right of here, so I'm good. I, I've had my share of combat. I've, I've done enough combat for a while. Sugarcane isn't something you see until the Gerudo area, so I won't be able to do the the cooking thing. This is two fruit, wheat, and sugarcane. They make it sound like a complicated recipe, but it just seems like a standard baked good. What? That would be the controller drifting. If, if, if a Pona makes a hard left all of a sudden, that's my controller drifting. Yeah, hard left. Yeah, hard left. Yeah, hard left. That's where I want you to go. We at Nintendo create controllers that don't exhibit any widespread issues. I just refuse to purchase another another controller, that's all. I'm not doing it.
You know what I just... <laughs> I've been riding around this entire time with a blade that I can get struck by lightning with and nothing happened. Just con consider that for a sec. How long was that? How long has the storm been going for? And no risk of getting struck by lightning. And yet, when I wear absolutely nothing, have been struck by lightning twice. I've had a tree fall on me because of a lightning strike. I'm pretty sure lightning blades conduct. All the elemental blades do because they're blades. Pretty positive. Next time there's a thunderstorm, I'll, I'll do it. But I'm almost positive they do. Okay, we're back. I'm still tasting five guys' burgers. Alright, so let me tell you about the five guys' experience. So... I did go there today, because we were talking so much about it the other day, the other evening, that I felt like I had to. Um, and I'll, I'll show stuff of it in a sec, but like... Um, place is pretty busy. I, I went there at a time that wasn't, you know, like a peak hour, I went there... Uh as an early dinner. So... I'm surprised at how busy it was, but you know, the, the vibes that I got from the place, it... It just... I don't know, man. <laughs> it just felt like a standard fast food place. However, I will I will say, just as a general comment, it's it was good. Just... I still don't see how they're going to survive. I still don't see how they're going to survive in the long run. But we'll get to that in a minute. You're wrong oh, about the blade? <laughs> Should have just stuck with the win and just left it at that. But yeah, I'll, I think one thing that is funny is just, I didn't, re you know how I was talking about the steakhouse, where I was like, okay, if I was to get a burger for that price, I would probably go to the steakhouse that's considered, considered one of the best, right, in, in the city. Hang on, let me do this real quick. Yahaha. Yeah. Okay, so while it's on this Yahaha screen, let me let me show you. Give me a sec. Okay, so this is this is going to be in a discussion of the five guys experience that I had. Alright, so let me just move chat to the other monitor, because there we go. All right, so this the steakhouse I'm telling you about, the one where I was like, the price difference between, you know, this nice steakhouse where they do a burger and the fixings for twenty nine dollars, they're literally right next door. <laughs> like, they are right next door to one another, and this this is why I guess my opinion of this is. How is this going to work? It's like you go into this place next door, and it's 
listen, they're good burgers. It, I'm not denying that, but like right next door, you've got you've got something. You've got something that does good burgers at a steakhouse. And it's roughly the same price. Like I don't I don't get this. Anyway. Um, hold up. I hit the wrong key. So, you know, this is what it looks like on the inside. That's a shit photo. But they just put their stuff as decorations. And on the back wall, there's just all these articles talking about how good their burgers are. But you'll note that none of them are Australian. They haven't gotten any accolades in Australia. Like, they're all just referring to America. Like, you'll see the LA Times. It's like, cool, dude. Where, where's the Australian accolades? Anyway. This is what it looks like in the bag you know how I, I was being told that they put extra fries in the bag and yeah they do they do i i will i will say that they do however that's the cup size of the fries that's like the smallest fries you can order so that costs that costs what almost six bucks it's one of these things where this is just a marketing ploy, dude. It's like, you know, they give you a small container and then they still give you the serving size of what you should be getting for five, six bucks anyway. And it's not like, you know, they give you what you should be getting for five to six dollars and out of the kindness of their heart, they add like, you know, a few dollars more. That's not it at all. It's like they could do the same thing by like having a small cardboard tube that fits a single fry in. But to me, this was just like, okay, in terms of fries, yeah, I roughly got what I paid for. This is like 5 to $6 worth of fries. But to say that, you know, they're being extra generous, nah. And I did get the, the bacon shake, well, the milkshake with bacon in it. But that's what the burger looked like, ultimately, right? Which, it's, it's decent. It was good. I did enjoy it. But... But here's the thing. There's... There's so many burger places in Melbourne. Like, I can name so many that will do a burger either on point or better for less. And that's that's the thing. Like, the, the whole thing is just the novelty. That it's this famous American burger place that you've heard of. The bun was pretty, like, I will say the bun, everything was, like, soft and, like, it was fine. That's all I'm going to say. It was fine. It was all right. I still think for what I paid, the steakhouse next door would have done, like, a better thing. It would have done a much, much better thing, right? Convinced. And I guess the only unique thing they have is, like, the ordering experience is very different because you start with, you know, you just get your burger and then you, you get whatever you want on it. It's the flexible thing. It's not the best burger, but it's good. It's, it's a fair analysis. But I can say that about so many... We have so many burger places here. Like, uh, I can go through a list of... 10 right now off the top of my head that do an, a good burger for less now the milkshake let's let's get that get to that really quick the bacon and the milkshake okay so it was it wasn't like large pieces of bacon the way that i see it it was like just tiny little pieces and it just it was just it tasted a bit like caramel and in that regard, when it was mixed with the malt. And then you got, like, this... The bacon aftertaste after a little bit. That was the experience. It was... It was alright. And the milkshake wasn't even a milkshake. It was... It felt like I was just... Trying to drink ice cream. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Like, it, it took me a while to drink that. And I don't think I even finished the thing. And the fries... The fries were... Dude, after I finished my meal, I was so thirsty. I went to the 7-Eleven, which was next door, next door. 
and and got something to drink because the fries that seasoning it felt like I was I just got like a entire entire tub of paprika and just shoved it in there. That's what it felt like. I don't think the fries were the greatest. I think it's one of those things where I was like, okay, they're they're all right. But the seasoning, to me, it was just like, dude, this is just one of these things where they call it Cajun, or they call it, like, Mexican. And it's just, it's just paprika. It's just fucking paprika and nothing else. That's what it felt like to me. Um, and, you know, they, they were advertising where the potatoes came in from that day, so... I don't know. So... I mean, in short, listen. I, I think the burgers are fine. Are they worth that price? No. I don't think so, given there's so many other burger places here that do a very decent burger, if not better, and they are better priced. To be... I think it's comical that they, they're like... Their burger is priced the same as the burger from the steakhouse place that I was talking about. And that's literally next door. Like... I don't know, man. Can the novelty that it's American really carry them that far? The other thing I also noticed was, um... May uh, this is a grain of salt, right? This is just my experience. I'm not saying this is in how it is in general, but... It seemed like the people that were in there were more tourists than anything else. If that makes sense. Like, the demographic in there seemed to be very touristy. So, it could just be that that place becomes what Starbucks is in Australia, which is just... The only people that go into Starbucks is people that miss Starbucks when visiting Australia. It's just like a familiar face in a foreign land. And I get the feeling that's what, that's what Five Guys is going to be. It kind of makes sense because you look at the locations they're open, they're touristy spots, so... Yeah, anyway. That was, uh, that was my, my experience slash review. I, I kind of went there for the memes a little bit because we were talking about it so much, and I still stand by what I said. It's just, how the fuck are they gonna charge that much for a burger? And now it's even more so where it's like, the steakhouse that I was talking about is literally next door. Where you could probably get something better in terms of meat quality and just the cheese they use. The cheese was just... It, the cheese was just American cheese. It was nothing fancy at all. And the lettuce was just lettuce. I will say, though, their... Their servings of, like, bacon and uh, the grilled onion on it. They weren't stingy on it. And that was nice. And pickles. They weren't stingy on that at all. So I did get the money's worth. But I feel like if you're just going in there and you're just ordering... The burger without doing anything to it. What are you doing? Anyway. It was very filling, very difficult to finish, and I had a nap afterwards, because, yeah, it was just a lot. I mean, Five Guys isn't really a large chain, technically, for us. It's like there's, there's three stores. <laughs> That's it. In, in the state that I live in, there's one, so... There's more... Like, there's a place called Huxter Burger, which is one of the places that I would say does a better burger. Like, looks very visually similar, actually, to a Five Guys burger. But they are, they are way cheaper. And they have a couple of stores, so... I don't know. You're yeah, having Taco Bell today excited. I can't be excited for Taco Bell anymore. I can't be excited for Taco Bell. Just especially since Australian Taco Bell is just a lesser version. And I can't even get the things that you Americans say I should try. Like, they just don't exist here. So, it's just... I, I would be getting shitty Mexican... ...by choice. And not really experiencing anything that, you know is essential. So, I don't know. 
They, uh, they do seem to have a few more stores now, so they're probably doing well here. Compare that to, like, uh, yeah, Starbucks, which did not do very well. Ah, here it is. But yeah, I mean, chains, it's, it's always a case of here where chains don't really do as well in Melbourne and Sydney. Just historically amongst the locals, they, it just doesn't seem to work. Ah, it's behind me. Awesome. When I saw the steakhouse next door, I I laughed. <laughs> Just genuinely laughed. Cause when I looked up the address I was like, oh, it's in it's in South Bank, okay. So it, it's gotta be close to the to that steakhouse place, like so that's why I brought it up. I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, it's it's in proximity of the steakhouse. Oh, I didn't realize how close it was. It's, it's like literally next door. I was almost tempted to go into the steakhouse instead and just have the burger there and just say, yeah, that was the Five Guys burger. Talk about it and then be like, ha got you. It's the Steakhouse Burger. But I didn't. But yeah, I, I've had it. I've, I've had it, so... And that's... That's all I- that's all I did when I went there. I got the burger and then left- <laughs> left the city. I didn't have anything else to do there, so. The blood moon rises once again. Please be I don't think I'll ever go out of my way to get Taco Bell, though. No matter how much we talk about it here, it's just... The appeal of it for me was... I would say... I would say 80% of it was in the, uh, the Baja Blast as a beverage, because that just... intrigued me. Other than that, eh, it's just... I can just hear the voices of, of my, some of my family members, particularly my parents, just going, Why are you spending money on eating cardboard? Just come come home. I'll make you a good taco. If you want tacos, come home. The Baja is good. I've heard. The nearest Taco Bell is two hours away. Your boyfriend is driving to go get it and other stuff. Well, as long as, you know, there's other stuff involved, I would I would not go two hours for Taco Bell. Get the freeze and put Malibu in it. Wish, wish I could.
I did appreciate the customization aspect of the burger experience, I gotta say. But would I pay like $6 ish extra for that? Nah. Wait, there's two of them here. As far as the, the whole crispy bacon thing goes, I, I, I appreciated it in the burger, but I still have to stick with uh, what I'm used to. I didn't hate it, but part of me was just like, hmm. You don't understand how thirsty I was after I finished eating. It was the fries that did it. It was just that seasoning. It just felt like a mouthful of pap paprika. And it just... I mean, the thing was, it was because the mouthfeel was, like, very baked potato-like, so it... it it was, uh... It just felt, after a while, it was... Just, man. I could use something else to drink, because I can't drink this milkshake, because it... It just feels like I'm having ice cream, as opposed to a milkshake. So... It's not that it was bad, it's just it wasn't helping. You don't got a lot of five guys either, just once in a while. Alright. So I guess my once in a while would be like any one of the other burger places that just seem to do a better job. Restaurant bacon in the US is awful. Oh, I can imagine. Have I done that one? Yes. I'm trying to think what else is other than Taco Bell. Like I could, I could try and report back on and just be like, "Hey, listen, this is what it's like here." Got him. I was, um, earlier, I thought I couldn't get them. I thought, no, there's no way I can just swing past and get all three. I did. The only thing I'll say is just, if you want to try something Australian that I've heard is, is available-ish at some places that sell Australian stuff is, uh, there's a soft drink called Bundera, Banda Berg, which is B-U-N-D-A, B-E-R-G, and they do a ginger beer, and it's good. It's not a beer. I should call it a ginger ale, but we call it ginger beer. It's not alcoholic, just to be clear. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not even going to address what, um, what I may or may not be saying, but I spelt it out, so you should know what I'm saying. <laughs> you 
You have bacon soda in the US. Of course you do. This is, I have to shoot this one off, don't I? Yep. Okay. What? What? That should have worked. I must not have hit it. What? <laughs> what? Hang on. That's ages ago. Didn't I just say it? <sighs> <laughs> this this Korok made top ten really? Okay, I have another approach. I have another approach. If that didn't work, I have I have a sure way of doing this. Say it before attempting. Wait. Is this one that I have to get it on, but not off? No, there's no way. Okay, hold on. I mean, the only other way would be like this. Well then, that, that's easy then. There's two ways to do it. It's fine. Or is it? Yeah, you know what? Why can't I aim higher? What the? What is going on? Oh well. I got it off. Oh, now I have to put it in position. Okay. It's fine. Kind of. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, I can see why this one's horrible. That's cool. That did that didn't work in the way that I wanted it to. Love that for me. I'm gonna load. It went wrong from the moment that I couldn't um, adjust the trajectory of it. For some reason, it just didn't let me aim higher. Hmm. 
I'm gonna be better about it. If watching me play has taught you anything, it's just use your balloons. Honestly. Should have froze it. You're right. This is this is still pretty awful. It's just not a, not as bad as you would think. Sounds like a safe sex slogan. <laughs> Use your balloons. Uh... Remember kids, you can't have party time without balloons. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it wasn't too bad. I still think the bridge one was worse. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I don't mind if the Korok is difficult to acquire, but at least I can see it. And it's just a case of execution. That's fine. But that wasn't a case of execution. That was just... You know, I'm not going to dwell on it, but you know what it was. So that's it, I've done the top three then, right? Or is this still... I still haven't done top three. Top three most difficult Koroks. Oh, this is... nope, this is not what I should be doing. Yeah, this is... So this middle part, uh, most definitely shouldn't worry about. There's another crop that you only got by, like, the last frame trying to get... To the finish line. I'm not sure what the intended start was, but definitely not the way you did it. Alright. I mean, so far my worst Korok experience is just that, that one. Everything else, more or less straightforward. Can't say I've ever been that stumped. There have been a few that have taken me like a minute or two. I'll I'll acknowledge that, but in general. That was pretty much the only one where I just I hated it. I hated it. I hated it.
You know what I think a wasted opportunity for Taco Bell in Australia would have been? Because it's owned by the same company, the beverage, right? In Australia. But there's a beverage we have called Solo, which is this crushed lemon soft drink. It's really good. It's not lemonade, to be clear. It's not lemonade. It's its own thing. It's like crushed lemon. It's really good. Very refreshing. If they had done something along those lines where they had like a special flavor of it, I think people would go to get it because it is, it is quite a good drink. It's one of those ones that is good as a, like, slushy thing as well. So, you know, maybe we didn't get the Baja Blast, but a special version of Solo, sign me up. I think they have a solo in Norway as well, but it's not the same thing. Same name, different thing. Is that Cass again? Okay, hold up. Yeah, this one's a little annoying. Because you have to count for both. <laughs> so it's refusing to get dra dragged up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Dog oh, shit! All right, that's, that's one way to go, I suppose. Oh shit. I think I, I think I have to move. Dude, what is going, what is, what is going on with this? Oh, it's the wind, it's the fucking wind. Look at this, I'm, I'm not pressing anything. No, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go! Out, 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 out! This game is such an unbelievable asshole. Yeah, yeah, oh yes! Okay, hold on. We're going we're going to employ We're just going to be smart about this. I I hate that the wind is affecting this. It's <laughs> so annoying. Okay, stop. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Now bring this slowly, slowly. Dude, why why is this being such a dick? Wow, this is 
okay, this is this is worse. That just keeps happening. The worst part about it right now is the fact that it's being altered by wind. I did not enjoy that one. Also, why am I under the bridge? Oh, okay. The forest dragon. Oh. This is, um... But the forest dragon splays its jaws. It's the courage thing. Okay, then we're fine. Oh. Right, you already solved it. Damn right. Okay. I don't think I want to mess with that. I can't believe my Lionels haven't been turned gold yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, there's a patch here. Okay, I have. So, hang on. Sorry, just trying to get my... My bearings here. What? Yes, and then... That thing has a Lionel bow, I forgot. Wait, what? Okay, I'm still lost.
Wait, is that the same chest? Okay. I think I just did slide that far. Yeah, I know this is a lot of uh, back and forth, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I think I can head to those woods now. Okay. Ah! I, I think... I think we're good with that area. Hopefully. Oh, hang on, what is this? No. Ah. Uh. No, see, look. Yeah. It's sort of like a... I guess when I... Uh, I'll just go back. It's large enough of an... Sorry. <laughs> Had to do that immediately. That thing uh, has a Lionel bow. I know that might seem excessive, but it was about to do the same thing to me. I don't think it's excessive. When I would have exploded. If I, if I had waited like another two seconds, I, I would have exploded. So it's to the... Okay, so we get to this, and then it's to the right. It's just this area here. Okay, that's why I didn't explore it, because there's a base there. I just, unfortunately, I can't mark it. But I will do this at the very least. I wonder if this is treasure or a trap. Okay. 
I'm satisfied now. Leaving. I wish I could mark these, but I don't think it's going to let me. Yeah. Ah, the stamp limit. Oh, shit. Over there. Which... It's not an area I've explored, so I guess that's fine. Okay. I mean, 175 remains. Doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on. I almost, almost messed that up. Don't look here. I didn't consider the camp behind it. <laughs> it's okay. Over there. Yahaha! Ha. Straightforward. Is this leading me to danger? Not good. <laughs> I was going to say. Seven to seven. Oh, crap. Oh, this is going back. Hold on. Go back. I see where I am now. I've never seen someone get attacked by a lizard like that.
don't look. Just assume that it hit. I'm surprised. It'd be nice to get to 750 today. I think that's a good goal. Oh, this is Farron Woods. Just clicked. Isn't Farron Woods supposed to be the the easy area? Where's the baby mode area? Say that's good enough.
You know, a thought occurred to me is like, now that Nintendo has pretty much received validation that them doing movies is a super lucrative thing. If they were to ever do a Zelda movie, would they ever make Link talk? Because Link's a very silent protagonist. More so than any other protagonist. It would be a very difficult thing to pull off, because I feel like no matter what they do, it'd be somewhat jarring. Or who they would even get. Because there's no really established... Other than the random noises he makes, there's no real established way he sounds. Other than the, uh, the very bad cartoon shows. Oh, I do hope they do a movie as well, yeah. There's a, there's a big story to tell here. Be kind of cool to see. But, you know. I'd be curious to see how they treat the whole, well, Link never ever says anything. And if they would go animated or if they would do, say, live action. I feel like animation is probably their better choice. Live action just, I don't know, man. <laughs> There's a bunch of rumors going around that um, the One Piece adaptation on Netflix is just... They've, uh, they've had test screenings and all of them have gone really bad. So, yeah. I think it's probably safer to not do live action. Just, live actions I feel like is a lot harder to get off because you can't take creative liberties with certain things and it just doesn't line up. I guess head to the beach. It would have to be animated, yeah. I mean... They could, they could do live action, I just don't think... I think it's a bigger risk. And would probably take longer to achieve. I think a movie where live action would make sense would be something like Metroid. Like a mix of CG and live action. I think that's probably the only one where it would work properly. Because that, especially the Prime games, they kind of already have that sci-fi horror vibe to it. That's not good news. Okay, we gotta get the golden one off the, the horse immediately. And then these other ones... Just take a shot. Wanker. Okay, get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, they're off. When they're in a pack like that, it's just... I thankfully had extra lives, but yeah. It's an archer, I think, that one. Yeah, it's an archer. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Put it down.
Get away from that bow. Uh, you're not taking that bow. Look at how short their animation for stun is. It's trying to get you to the ocean. Just a little bit further. There we go. At least the bow is worth it, I guess. Such a rough situation to be in. At least there was only three of them, but I've seen seven just plumped together like that, and they're all silver. It's just, it's horrible. I just, there's no way. Why would, why would you ever fight that? I wonder if, because of this, because of Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, Mario being successful, I wonder what other what other game companies are now gonna feel like. Ah, oh, yeah, people want people want movies about video games. What franchise have we got that we can make a movie out of? And they're just gonna take some some franchise that no one really cares about and they're just deluded by the fact that Nintendo's made so much money. But they just see the dollar signs and it's just a flop. Because you know that's going to happen. Companies do this time and time again. It's like when everyone needed a mascot, it was like, oh wow, Mario is really successful in Sonic. We need to make mascots for our company and make video games about it and make as much money as they do. And there was just a period where there was so many video game <laughs> mascots out there. Oh, man. What game do you think they would do? Well, I'll tell you, like... If I was to... From Sega's perspective, they have the Yakuza series, which is, uh, is pretty excellent that I think they could do stuff with. In being genuine about it, right? If I was to be, like, facetious, let me think. I mean, the thing is, we already do have Castlevania. Like, I guess Capcom could get greedy and do Mega Man or something. But the Castlevania series on Netflix is actually pretty decent. Other than that, what, like, Pac-Man? Maybe Activision is like, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Let's do a Crash Bandicoot movie. Probably Crash Bandicoot, now that I say that. Would be the likely contender. As Crash is a pretty successful mascot... It's one of the few that survived the test of time. It's been a while. But I guess we have to find an ancient now.
did I play Crash? Well, back in the day, yeah. I, I owned two and three, uh, but played one at a friend's house. And then, you know, streaming. I, I did the trilogy thinking, that's going to be fun. I remember Crash. That was, that was something I enjoyed. The trilogy is a, is a great modernization of it. However, if you're trying to 100%, it, it is suffering of the highest order. Wow, that... What is it with the... What is it with this playthrough and me just having this happen? Where I go to fight one of these things and then the game is like, Oh, what's that? You want to fight? Yeah, spawn 50 enemies alongside. Yeah. That'll show them. This is so obnoxious. It's not funny. No, I have. I was gonna. I was gonna do parry, but not with that going on. That is such bullshit. It should not be allowed to do that. It's 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 more annoying than challenging because those things, all of these enemies, they just die in one hit anyway. Uh, it's just annoying. And I've had this happen to me so many times where it just pops up either slimes or these assholes or bats or all of them. Yeah, more. Oh, yeah, more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. More skeletons. Put wind on the beach so you can't throw your bombs and aim at them properly. The player needs a challenge. It's not considered a challenge unless there's an enemy every th seven seconds. did want to fight that thing with parries, but I just, I don't want to deal with random stuff interrupting. But, uh, yeah, I can't think of any other video game franchises. I, the one movie that I'm surprised exists... Because, alright, it's not that I expected a cartoon movie, but, you know, there's the Tetris movie. And it's a movie about the story of Tetris, in the sense of, like, Nintendo, I guess, getting the rights to be able to bundle it in with the Game Boy, which, you know, it, it's somewhat of an interesting story. But the way they frame it, <laughs> it's, it's a bit weird. You watch the trailer for that movie and it's so it's so confusing. They make it seem like there's just this, this, this very seedy plot where, you know, they have to smuggle the Tetris game out of Russia because America versus Russia, right? Like, you gotta show them commies what's what. And it's just, no, dude, that's not what happened. It was just a business deal. It, it happened. I'm sure there were, there were maybe some minor intricacies to said deal, but the way that trailer is cut up, it, it's just hysterical because it's just, it's not representative of what is going on with that. 
And they make it seem like such a big deal. I haven't seen the movie, but... Well, there goes all, all my extra lives. That's just one of the, one of those things where they, they try... They're trying so hard in the trailer to make the movie sound way more interesting than what it's about. Possibly be directly above me. No, it's over there. I can see it. That's. Did it run away from me the moment? <laughs> Alright, you know, it's fine. Yeah. 7.30. Oh, there's still a. Another one here. That one's probably above. I think to the the movie of the uh, the origin story of McDonald's, which it's an all right movie, um, but you know they they didn't try to embellish what that was really, not too much, and this is what that Tetris movie is 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 it's just that, except they've gone to make it look like an action movie and there's like high stakes it's like no dude it's you're you're getting you <laughs> it's a lawyer going to get the rights to a game Well, that happened. I love how the bats can still kill you after being dead. How far back did it put me? Okay, the treasure chests are gone. I got the feeling this one's above me, which, like... Wait, this is a shrine?
I don't remember this one. Oh. It's a ball, but... There's obviously more to this than just going to get that ball over there. What's the catch? Ah. Someone will give me the ball. Okay, well, this one I have to climb, so. Haha. Uh -huh. Seven thirty one. <laughs> Your skin is so smooth and gorgeous, my little Roscoe. <laughs> it says L Looney, Loon. Hmm, someone's watching us. Oh, my sweet Roscoe. You're so shy, aren't you? Yes, you are. This is just a reference to a uh, castaway, isn't it? With uh, Wilson. Why not proudly show off your beaming beauty, my darling? You must come out of your shell. Hmm? Hmm? The person watching looks like he wants something. Maybe he's after... <gasps> Is he after you? Don't worry, my sweet Roscoe. I would never, ever let you go. I'm head over heels for my special friend who's been around since ancient times. You're so ancient and special, Roscoe. Yes, you are. Sorry, my sweet Roscoe, but I fibbed a little. The truth is, I want to see Guardians. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, I know what this is. I have to take photos of them. I don't think it's going to accept the compendium. Let's see. Mm, no. Shit. Ah, uh, chat! What's the closest one I can go to? Might have to go on a road trip. Just saying. <sighs> I mean, Central Hyrule's got the two, the Walker one. I'm trying to think where I would go for a little one. Uh, I think the little one's more the problem is... I guess if I went to one of the major test of strength shrines, but then I would have to do the major test of strength. Maybe if I can find a minor one, that might be an option. Hang on, let me just let me just double check what what, what does she want exactly? <laughs> flying one, small one, yep, yeah, okay. So flying, small and then the walking one. I'm not sure this one's respawned yet. That's the thing. Because there was one along the speech, but I don't think there's been a blood moon. So Hmm. This one's above, isn't it? Okay. Hold up.
man, I'm just thinking. Oh, there's one in Kakariko Village. That one's the starter one. I guess I could go across to there to get a walker. And then the flying one, I guess, just go there. There's also a Kala, but I feel like a Kala's too far away. The Kala Tower is way too far away. I think that's the play. Ah! What happened there? I'm not wasting a stamina potion, I'm sorry. I don't know if that was rain or just jank climbing. Come on! <laughs> Link. Is this? Should just be up here, where is it? Excuse the running, it's just, I have to sort of zigzag through these areas so then later on it doesn't become a pain, but I just need to give myself a little bit of an indicator so then I know. Yep, okay, I've, I've checked along here.
Gee, sure is disappointing around here. Okay, I see that. A little awkward. Hang on. I guess you just have to find the correct spot. Ah. Okay, at least this one's slow. Yah ha ha. There's, there's nothing else here. I swear I remember something else being up here, but maybe I'm wrong.
You know, if I'm lucky, maybe that shrine there will be a test of strength. I get the feeling it might be. I'm not sure if it's a vague memory or if it's just me thinking that uh, a shrine near a quest that's asking for a photo of a, a little guardian might have that in close proximity. It's possible. I do remember this one. I saw this one on the map. And there's another one either directly across here or on the other side. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's just directly across. Okay. It's not there, but what uh, what happened to that other one? Anyway. It's raining again. I mean, I'll go up the beach later. Once I come back. Gonna have to do it, so. If I can't find it now, I mean, I think I'm way past where it was. I'll just go back to the beach and I'm sure I'll figure it out.
almost done with the high ground here. I'll just go around this whole thing and yeah, the, the horse uh, resurrection fairy thing is just down there, but I won't get it until I go all the way around. I'm surprised there isn't one directly above it. Especially, yeah, like that. I don't know what you call it. But I guess the rock structure is directly above it. I would have thought there'd be a stone on top of one or something. Just sometimes the, uh, the distribution of Koroks is strange. Sometimes there's good a good spread of it, but then... There are other times where it's just like, you would think, there's some, but there's only one or two in a pretty big area of land. I mean, this this area's been alright so far, to be fair. I mean, when you compare it to Farron, it's, it's been better, or maybe it feels better because it's... I don't have to deal with the uh, rain as often. I mean, it still happens, but... Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's where I went up originally. Okay, and I do recognize this. Yep, I know where I am. So go to the left. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll go around and then I'll walk inwards and get the horse fairy for now. Okay, that might explain why there's nothing up here. That's the one that we saw. Um, where's the rock? There it is. Okay. Wait. Oh, yes. Detect the player is about to do something and then spawn. Skeletons to give a challenge. Yes. It's not a real challenge if you're not getting an enemy every seven seconds. Oh, my God. Yahaha. Yeah. 734. Okay. Well, uh, that looks good enough. Let me just drop off. From above. Ah, oh, cool, more carrot. But it's strange that it's growing up here, but you know, whatever, it's fine. 
Yeah, there's nothing up here. Okay. Boy, sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. I am Melania. Melania? Melania? Hast thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? If my power is returned to me, I may be able to help you out in some way. So please, I beg of you, help me regain the power I've lost. All I need is a thousand rupees. When my power has been restored, I should be able to use... To be of use to you, who loves horses so. Now, you have rupees for me, right? A thousand. Yeah, I mean, this, this one is just... If something goes wrong with the horse, but... I'll try my hardest. Not to let that happen. I am revived. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Visually, this one looks different. At last, rear that tiny bud after so long. If my arms were corporal, corporeal, they'd have cramped up for sure. And you're the one who set me free, are you not? My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. I suppose you deserve a reward for setting me free. What shall I do? Shall I make you my meal? Haha. -ha. I only jest. If a horse you love passes away from some sort of tragic fatal accident, it is within my power to revive that horse. However, if I detect vile intent behind the death of your horse, you will suffer my wrath. I only jest. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm, I uh, see you're good with horses. All seems to be well. The friendship you established with a horse is really extraordinary. Remember that such a friendship is a two-way road. Horses care for you as much as you care for them. You know what I like about this shrine is just that uh, the music is a opponent's music. Come here, frog. I feel like there's a Korok down there, if I'm remembering correctly. Under the bridge, maybe? No? Oh no, I've made a mistake. Oh, this is a bad idea. I don't have to say anything. I think you know my feelings on uh, the elephant in the room right now. I'll say it over and over again. I'm going to be absolutely shocked if they have done nothing about the rain in Tears of the Kingdom. Just, you talk to anyone who's played this game, and you talk about rain, the opinion on rain is almost unanimous. There have been early reviews of uh, Tears of the Kingdom out, and you know, I've been avoiding them like the plague, but not gonna lie, there's a, there's a small curiosity that makes you want to just find out if rain has been adjusted, but I, I haven't seen anyone really talking about that specifically. It's just a minefield at the moment, just people releasing so many videos on it. Beep. 
I'd be curious to see if, like... Is it a case where people who make content for video game reviews really get that much more? Like, surely there would be a drop-off in audience for people that don't want spoilers. Or maybe we're just in the minority. Alright, small adjustment coming right up. Smooth. Ya ha ha! <laughs> I'm gonna end up doing this whole map, aren't I? Put it ages away, and then I have to go the long way because of rain. I can't go straight across. A mic today? No, I've got a mic. I'm just quiet. I've been streaming for like six hours, so. It's 
sometimes I'll need like a minute or two. Just follow the road for now. I see it, I see it, I see it. That is annoying. Because I was up there, but I guess it didn't register because it's here. Okay. I think I can finally go get this. This here. I just want to be thorough. Letting me go. But you know what? I'm happy because the previous area did not have as much, so. If I can get, before finishing this tower, if I can get to just 150 remaining, that would be ideal. You've been playing Sparks of Hype and have been enjoying it. Nice. Yeah. Just wish I was more into the strategy genre, but... That's one of those genres that I, I have to be in the mood to play it. This is a weird spot. It looks like it's on low ground, but it's not. <laughs> I'm 
ultimately gonna do this whole area before going to take the photos. Stab it up. Okay, I know where I am. How did it leap? It leapt across the gap. I hope it's a test of strength, then I don't have to go to the village to get a photo of a guardian. We'll see. It's not, but there might be, there might be some in this. Guess let's not rule it out. Yeah, there is. I, I kind of remember this, yep. I mean, on the bright side, that's one photo done. So now I just have to go to Hyrule Castle. Not that one. spot it. <laughs> that was an accident. It's okay, I'll be fine. I was trying to... Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
It's okay. This is this is how we hide. How does it know? It was frozen in time. How did it know I ran in this direction? Oh, it can see me through the wall. Yeah, no, that that makes perfect sense. Love that. Is effectively my weapon. this thing's gonna be able to reach me. Okay, there we go. Ninety-nine! Damn. I'm nearly at that magical triple-digit number. Okay, chat. Uh, I'm going to take another small intermission. Um, it's been a couple of hours. I like to keep the VODs sort of lean, but also... Uh, I need to take a bathroom break, but also, uh, get more beverage, so. We will just take a small intermission, and we'll continue since it's, uh, Saturday, and I slept a bit because of, uh, the Five Guys experience. <laughs> the burger put me to sleep, so. I'm wide awake. Anyway, uh, give me two to five minutes, and, uh, I'll be back shortly, but... If you're watching later on YouTube, this is where we say bye YouTube, thanks for tuning in, and consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support. Okay, see ya. <laughs>